Beauty blender for base makeup. Always dampen the sponge. If the sponge is dense, it will leave marks on your face and you don't want that, right? Before applying your makeup with the beauty blender, make sure to prep your skin with good moisturizer. For foundation, use the rounded end and then blend carefully. You can apply the foundation directly with your fingers or use the blender. It doesn't really matter. I always use the rounded end to apply the foundation and then go on with the broad side and dab everything. Use the pointed side for concealer and highlighters. Again, use the rounded side for blush. Remember to use the same bouncing motion as it really helps press product into your face. Okay, so these are the things that you should keep in mind while using a beauty blender. Never drag your beauty blender to blend your makeup. Always use bouncing, dabbing or patting motion for perfectly airbrushed finished. Thank you for watching.